5 of doing the Cooper Monaco and I've made a lot of additions to it. Still have more to do, but um, I did most of the rear fender and where I had just ghosted in before I put the shadows in that were in the original drawing or the original photo rather and they aren't uh, they aren't as dark as I would like them to be yet I found it's a little difference between my printer and my monitor so when I printed this thing off and I've been using the reference photo it isn't as uh, quite as light as the as the normal photograph that I had printed out so what I'm doing is having to change the values around a little bit in order to make it correspond to what I show on my monitor which is really a prettier picture but um, uh, it's kind of upsetting that that happened because uh, it's going to mean I'm going to do a little more work on it so it might mean an extra lesson on it but but it'll be fine it's just uh, I, I was not careful and I didn't check well enough to see that that both of those corresponded but when I looked at the image on a very very large scale on my big screen monitor in my in my studio I noticed that there was a, a fair difference between the uh, darkness of darkness of values of one to the other and so well, I'm having to kind of ease those values back together again um, I was making this drawing too dark so I'm having to adjust things to make it come out right and I thought that where I was was right but it wasn't so it'll come out okay it's just gonna be a little bit darker blue than, than I had anticipated of course this is black and white but but uh, what I mean is that it's going to be denoting or taking the place of a, a deep blue which is a very pretty color. I mean, the, the color that this car is in the original picture is just gorgeous. So, I'm going to have to uh, make this one likewise gorgeous. But it will take some more work than I had hoped. Um, so, it's probably going to be, I imagine now it'll be eight lessons. And I did start to ghost in the drawings for the front so that uh, that wheel will look like it's supposed to eventually but it's starting to get there now and and uh, now that I know where I am I'll be able to do in the door here also so by the next time you see this I probably will have started uh, to darken in the the left front wheel a little bit and then to do the door to make it correspond to the values of everything else and just leave the the lines the parting lines for the door opening and then um, what I'll do is I'll make this show the roundness on the side of the body and the flatness back by the tire. That's what this, this shadow is all about. And when I get done with that, then I'll do the rear wheel and then the interior of the car, which is going to be kind of fun too. It's aluminum, uh, bare aluminum on the inside except for where the where the seats are of course and in the photo he's got his uh, his five-way belts are sitting up on the on the windshield up here so what it does is that that kind of uh, obstructs anything inside this part this part is bare aluminum and it just goes around the inside so uh, like I said before also the uh, plastic windscreen that's on here windshield that's on here is uh, going to be kind of fun too because it, it is in two different thicknesses there's a there's an outer one here and then there's the piece that goes back around and goes back to the body on the other side which continues across this one so that's something I'm going to have to do show the uh, how, how it obscures and refracts the light through there I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like yet but I wanted to get the outside of the body done first and the stuff that we really know about and then then we'll have to uh, do some care with the inside and get that all to work out too. But it will, it'll be very much like what I want it to be and it, uh, it's like I said one of my favorite race cars so I'm going to work long and hard on it to get it right. I just want this to, to really show people what it can do and, and like I say it's 
this is for car guys. This is going to be greeting cards for car guys. And that's what I wanted to do. Anyway, so um, I will see you tomorrow. I'll have some more done and post this one and we'll get going on the next one. Thank you again. See you tomorrow.